Welcome to Keep the Dash Alive. I'm your host, Julie Bonner, and today we explore recording family voices. These are some of the coolest family history assets you will ever produce. If you have any questions about this episode, you can email me at julie at corebridge.com. Please find Keep the Dash Alive on YouTube and where you find your favorite podcasts. As I started researching my family tree, I gathered all kinds of data. Birth dates, marriage records, death dates. But I have stated before that the most wonderful things I found were the personal writings. But let's take a moment and think about the generations that come after us. What cool artifacts can we leave for them? One of the best things we can do is leave short recordings of family voices. In today's world of technology, this is easier than ever to do. Now, in my family, that started with singing. My paternal grandmother liked to sing, and my mom found a cassette recording of her and my grandfather singing a cappella together. Now, a cassette recording does have some scratchiness in it. Plus, I was worried about how to save a cassette without it breaking someday, so I definitely wanted to get it into a digital format. There are a couple of ways to do this. The first way is to obtain an ION device. That is spelled I-O-N, and it looks like a cassette recorder. You put the cassette into the device. You then plug in the USB to your computer, along with loading a small software package. Today, you can find these products on Amazon. The second way to do this is just to play the cassette on a cassette player and record the sound with a recording application on your phone. But few of us have cassette players these days, so the ION cassette player and converter might be your best bet. That cassette recording my mother found was not the best quality. Thus, I needed software to improve it. There are lots of audio editing software out there, and some of them are relatively cheap or free. Many people swear by audacity, But even though it is free, it has irritated me in the past as to how much of a learning curve you have to go through to use it. Thus, over the years, I have chosen WavePad. They often have discounts on their website. I have found over time that having a good sound editor is worth it, and at least it is one-time purchase and not a monthly subscription. In fact, I use WavePad for my podcast production and have also used it in video editing if I have to make changes to a soundtrack. Using that software, I was able to get the audio recordings of my grandparents into some decent sound. Not all of the scratchiness is gone, but you can understand them, which is important. Plus, WavePad is way cheaper than using the Adobe product for sound editing because you have to pay a monthly subscription to own that product. As I have mentioned before, I have used an application on my phone for audio recordings. The one I use on my phone is Voice Record Pro. It allows me to export a recording to Dropbox or Google Drive or even OneDrive. I have used this to record stories about my mom and dad at the memorials in 2014. They are really good recordings and I did not need a lot of editing. I was in the front row of the church and funeral home and could easily record them. Just make sure that you have permission to record. After my mother passed, my brother told me he had recordings of my mother and father singing on his karaoke machine. When he finally found them, he downloaded them and sent them to me. I was so grateful. At that time, I did not have any recordings of my dad, and having this one song that he sang was so perfect. I'm not suggesting that you record only singing of your family members. If family members are willing, Ask them to tell stories of their childhood or their memories that impacted them the most. There are tons of websites dedicated to questions you can ask family members and record their stories. Of course, the recordings I do not have haunt me the most. For example, I do not have any recordings of my maternal grandparents, especially my maternal grandfather who sang what is called shape note or sacred harp singing. So the real lesson here is, if your family is alive, ask them about some stories and record them. You will be really happy that you did, and future generations will love you for your visionary thinking. 
Then you have to consider where you will store these recordings. For instance, you can save them in Dropbox folders, Google Drives, etc. Through those platforms, you can share these files with others. For me, however, as a family historian, I want the files to be accessible to a broader audience and not have to constantly be bombarded with requests for access to them. Thus, I have a free account on SoundCloud. It is a podcasting type platform, and even though the space is limited for these files, it gives me time to find another alternative. In fact, I may start a podcast that tells stories of my family. While the niche may be small, at least it is a way that anyone related to the individuals in my family could gain access to the files in a real easy way. I often use these recordings to tell stories on YouTube, and then I can use old family photos as well. The fun thing for me is that family history and technology are proving to be a pioneering way for me to experiment with how family histories are preserved in the future. Your task now is to do some experimenting on your own. How will you save these valuable recordings? What I do is save them on SoundCloud and then add the links in books that I publish or add the links on my family tree on Ancestry.com. If you have an innovative way you save these for your family, be sure to share your ideas or become a guest for the podcast by emailing me at julie at corebridge.com. Have fun knowing that you're enhancing future generations of your family. Thank you so much for listening. I'm your host, Julie Bonner, and until the next episode is released, keep bringing your family story alive. If you have any questions for me, you can email julie at corebridge.com. Subscribe to our Keep the Dash Alive podcast and YouTube channel. Thanks for listening.